think that the 50 or less than 50 vote, vote spread between uh, Mike Wetzel and Phil Baldwin in the last election should count for something. I think that quite a few people um, would like to have that, that vote mean something. Uh, also, a uh, little disheartened at the, the discussion at the last meeting that suggested that that wasn't important insofar as when it was John McCowan who was the second highest vote getter, or third highest in that case, uh, it, it, it came across to, to me as a citizen that the council members at that time thought it very important that he was the next in succession. So if one were to, to follow uh, the voters, I think the clear selection should be uh, Mike Wetzel. Uh, failing that, um, I think uh, John Graff would make an excellent uh, and knowledgeable contributor to this body. Any questions? Anyone else? Here's your chance to offer recommendations, suggestions. Hello, I'm Steve Zweibach. I live in Ukiah on 208 Banker Boulevard. And first off, thank you very much for doing this process in this way. And I think John Nazaro said quite a few very important things about criteria. I mean, if I was to try to make this decision, I would list a series of criteria and try to make decision weigh people against those criteria. I do agree on the criteria that uh, criterion that John suggested. And I think having had the opportunity of actually working with you as a group, I would another criteria that uh, criterion that I would add is one that somebody that you could really work with, because these are incredibly difficult times. There are times of opportunity, I think, too. We're going to have to make tough decisions, but we're, I think we're going to have to make decisions that are not just about problem solving, but also at the same time really looking towards the future, um, thinking creatively and in innovative ways, and, um, because things are going to have to probably be cut. And um, those are always difficult decisions to make. And so the only thing that I would say is uh, I think you have several uh, candidates who are probably qualified, but seek the one that, in your own, that, that you actually feel will be, bring balance to your board that you can work with um, and that um, it's not going to be any confrontation among yourselves and somebody who's going to really look for uh, innovative ways of bringing community involvement into, into the city process. And that's what I'd like to say. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is James Connerton, Jr. I live in Ukiah. Um, I'm not going to make a recommendation of a specific candidate, but I would say that I believe that the most important criteria that you should be considering is that the person who, who was elected by the citizens who is being replaced is a person that those voters and probably, in my opinion, others would like to see replaced with someone, by someone, who essentially stands pretty much for what John stands for, and I think you all have a pretty good idea where he's at. Um, they are big shoes to fill, and they're shoes that were walking in a certain direction. Thank you. Further public uh, input, commentary, suggestions? Recommendations. Hello, my name is Alan Nicholson. Um, uh, I think this is a wonderful opportunity you all have here uh, to um, replace uh, someone as uh, 
good at making decisions and finding solutions as John McCowan was. Um, uh, I made a, a sort of a list of things that um, I feel are, are good criteria for leaders, decision makers, community uh, heads, and um, I think all of the candidates applying for this position uh, have unique talents and uh, uh, great, would be a great addition to the board here. Um, uh, one of the things about John McCowan that I always uh, admired was that he, uh, on completely his own time, did a tremendous amount of research into community issues, would go out into the community and uh, speak with people, look for people that were, were not only involved in issues that were controversial, but uh, whose lives it really impacted. And um, it's a kind of a proactive approach that I know all of you do at various times, but I, th I think he was uh, really good at this. And so I hope that um, we'll fill this position with somebody who would carry on that legacy and follow uh, the direction that John was pointed in and um, uh, would work well with all of you and work with John as he moves on to uh, a bigger seat at the county level. Uh, a good representative of the citizens is one who has a long public record of consistent commitment to public service for the enrichment of all citizens of the region as well as the city. A good leader is someone who is committed to sound economic development, but with a priority for the public good and not special interests and who will bring together all sides of the issues to speak publicly to find common solutions. A good leader values community input and ex expertise and will continue to establish a framework for public education and discussions uh, on uh, whatever issues come before the city and become uh, uh, problems to find solutions for somebody who's committed to bringing the community together and to find solutions to any obstacles for our growth. The most qualified individual will be somebody who brings people together and makes things happen. A person who brings people together, engages the community, and listens to that community. In choosing a new member of the city council, look for the leadership qualities of one who is committed to public office and who will diligently research and apply themselves to physical responsibility. Um, I hope the city council in choosing a new council member seriously considers someone who has taken to heart the interests of all in our community, someone who has unselfishly worked in a positive manner for the good of this beautiful community, and someone who has conducted themselves with dignity and inclusiveness and will conduct themselves that way as a council member. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next commentary. Next suggestion. Well, I'm just here to make my suggestion as my two cents added to it. Um, <laughs> I think Marian Landis has a vision of Ukiah that includes thoughtful growth, respect for citizens and businesses here, and a desire to mean our unique Ukiah flavor. She's a leader, a teacher, an entrepreneur, and a consensus builder and a consensus finder. And I think she'd be a real asset to our city council. Thank you. Your name? Oh, I'm Mary Misseldine. Good evening, Shmise Kebison, Ukiah. 